So you may be asked when you're uh, diagnosed with lung cancer to have something called a PET scan. And unlike CT scan, a PET scan tells us not where it is, but is it active? So PET scan works on this idea that if it, quote, lights up, it's an active lesion. Now, things that are active tend to be rapidly dividing cells. And so uh, the PET is actually not useful in the brain where we are thinking all the time we have very rapid metabolism. In the lung, if a lesion lights up in the lung, it's rapidly uh, dividing cells, and it may be a cancer. Although sometimes infections in the lung can cause uh, the PET scan to light up, and even changes after radiation treatments can cause a PET scan to, quote, light up. The PET scan can tell us if and where lesions are active, and they sometimes pick up disease we didn't suspect outside the chest, for example, in the bone or the adrenal gland or the liver. So the PET scan is useful if it's positive and tells us that a lesion is active. It's also incredibly useful if it's negative. So sometimes we have benign spots in our lung, and if the PET scan is negative in that area, it means uh, by and large it's not cancer. One strong uh, recommendation in this area, though, is if you have a positive PET scan, it doesn't always mean cancer. 20% of the time, it's falsely positive, especially in patients who have infections around a certain area. And so we often recommend doing a biopsy to confirm that that PET scan is, in fact, really cancer, or could it be something else? And sometimes we're really surprised that the results of the, of the biopsy in patients who have a positive PET scan, and it turned out not to be cancer, which is good news for our patients.